Hi there, I'm Susanna Williams. I'm out today doing some research for the sequel to Shockwaves, my young adult action adventure. This is Criggy and Quarry on the border of England and Wales. Formed by a volcano, it's been mined since the 19th century and it now produces rock for roadstone and ready mixed concrete. But that's not all that's gone on at Criggian. During World War II, the Ministry of Defence constructed several radio transmitter towers at Criggian. Their exact use was top secret, but it's believed they were a contact point for nuclear submarines across the world. Its existence made this area a Category A target during the Cold War. The radio towers were in use right up to 2003. At around 600 feet, they would have looked something like this. Of course, if this site has already had one top secret military use, what if it has another? Wouldn't deep in the hillside be a great place to hide other sorts of military operations, research facilities that you didn't want anyone to find out about? Yeah, I thought so too. There are paths leading up the mountain, so let's see what the quarry looks like from the top. Wikipedia says the peak of this hill reaches 1,199 feet. Doesn't that make it a mountain and not a hill? like a mountain. Looks like we're almost there. Well, here I am right on the top of the hill. Fantastic view. You can see Cadridris, Snowdon, and on a clear day, 48 miles that way is Liverpool. Behind me, you can see Rodney's Pillar. It was built in 1782 to celebrate Admiral Rodney's victory over the French and Spanish fleets. You might think it's a strange place to put a monument for a sea battle, but all the wood for the English fleet came from the Montgomeryshire Hills. It was floated down the River Severn to Bristol. I'm thinking it would be a good idea to hide a government facility in the mountain. The quarry would make a great front the rock face would make it virtually impossible to get on site and the public would be kept out with security that no one would question. Although, I think I may have to beef it up a bit for the purposes of my book. I'm definitely putting a place like this in my next book. 